and welcome back day two in the lunatic asylum uh yeah day two cell two another positive result uh it's 282.9 don't know if you can see that quite clearly um so again it's beaten the sticker ever so slightly uh they claimed it'd be 282.7 <coughs> The only thing that really to note with is yesterday cell one charged it with 215.9 ampere hours <clears throat> and this one this one charged with 200.1 ampere hours so there's quite a difference in the delivery voltage and the delivery capacity how that translates into how the cells will perform over their lifetime i do not know exactly um, but i thought that they would be a tad closer than that um, so there we go that's my finding so far Cell 1 had a, vol uh, a delivery voltage of 3.291 volts. Cell 2, this one it did, just did, had an arrival voltage of 3.303. You know, and so got a difference of 15.8 ampere hours in the uh, state of charge on delivery. So, interesting. And it will be interesting to see how that translates into the lifetime performance that gives me something else to bump my gums about. Right then, cell number three. I was just having a poke about saving the data for cell two. don't know how clearly I'll get this anybody out there know resistance test what's that all about come on behave yourself so I'll give it a wee pokey test current a uh, thousand milliamps resistance 0 MR uh, there's nothing in the user manual or anything like that or anything online I had a quick Google couldn't find out so I don't know what value I should put in there give it a poke worked and did something resistance 3.0 MR what's MR? Mm, 1 MR hmm. I don't actually know what it's doing <laughs> And I don't know what I'm doing either. It'll be interesting to find out. I don't think it does anything. I don't know. And now it's a two. So, yeah, I don't know. If there's anybody out there that can shed some light onto what that's about uh, is it for testing the resistance in the cell or is it for testing the resistance in all the cables and the machine and crocodile clamps blah 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 I'll have to have another another so that is numero 3 finitoed and another nice and strong result 200, oh come on focus, 283.8 
lovely jubbly the uh, the fog star sticker says it should have been 282,572 milliamps hours so 282.5 ampere hour was the claimed and I've got 283.8 so smashed it again very happy so far on to number four Alrighty then, here we are, 24 hours later, and another one bites the dust. Come on, you mother. 282.5, it matched their sticker pretty much exactly. So, very good so far. Seemed to be quite honest and truthful what Fogstar are claiming on their tested sticker. Uh, the only thing that's really to note is um, the amount of energy that we pumped into it with the initial charge from delivery. There's quite there's quite a big variation in the states of charge on arrival, um, and there's a bit of variation in the cell capacities. But if my results nearly match their results. I think I probably will go through and test all 32 and make a higher bank and a low bank. That's, you know, so but we'll see how it goes. See how I feel. Novelty's already wearing off. <laughs> Here is cell number four, fresh off the tester. <clears throat> try and do this one handed um, show you what it's like after I have inflated it and deflated it with 40 amps for the last god knows how many hours I'd actually say they're very very nice it's held its shape, it's not puffed up and popped with that first charge and discharge at 40 amps um, be very very careful with metal tools around your terminals there you go, there's actually a little bit of a dip in it now so they do breathe they do breathe I'll try with the next ones I'll try and do before and after but they're still nice That's not bad at all there were some that were sl when I unboxed them all that were slightly bloated um, nothing compared to like my Aliexpress shitters um, but when I come across them, I think it was in box 6 and box 8, um, I'll try and do some before and afters of that, see, see what happens to them. See if they do breathe and shrink back in a bit at a different state of charge. Lovely jubbly. Hello everybody, don't know if it's me again, don't know if this is going to be the same video as the other four or start another video for another box, but this is cell number five out of box two. So as you can see there, there's a little bit of bloat into this one. Mostly seems to be over the anode or the cathode side don't know um, and then on the reverse side again it all seems to be over the one side and then flattens out so I'll give it a little test to roo hit it with 40 amps and see what happens this one might be a bit more bloated than the other ones because it is claimed to be you know, 
yeah, come on you mother focus hopefully you can see that oh come on it did have it so a slightly higher state of charge than everything else come on oh why give up how on earth am I going to get a million subscribers with bloody videography like that anyway it's 285.3 I have to take my word for it so it's a oh 285.36 or as they like to call it 285,360 milliampere hours sorry 0.2 milliampere hours round it up you know there's no need for that keep it simple round it, round it up um, so yeah this is at a higher state of charge than the first box of four whether that translates into the state of charge upon arrival so there's you know there's more juice in it so there's more oomph in it uh, yeah I'm rambling now so get on and do it it'll be interesting to see when I charge discharge and then recharge back up and get them to the same level and charge to the same level that I already have done. It'll be interesting to see what happens if that improves at all, if it does breathe or if it gets worse or stays the same. So, be interesting, hopefully.